Right, hello and welcome. Today we are going over the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4. So, this vehicle is one of the latest additions to Grand Turismo 7 and we are going to find out how good it is stock, fully upgraded and we are also going to take a look at the customization for this vehicle because it does have some very spicy bits. So, with that being said, let's just dive straight into it. So, the Lamborghini Gallardo, you can get your hands on this vehicle one of two ways. You can either pick it up from Brand Central for 260,000 credits or you can save just under 7,000 credits and pick it up from the used car dealership for 253,100 credits. So, what do you get for that money? Well, you get an all-wheel drive system. You get a 5.2 liter V10 that produces 552 brake horsepower, all wrapped up in a shell that only weighs 1,410 kgs. So, with that being said, once you pick up your Lamborghini, you can head on out onto circuit to test out its legs. So the first thing we're gonna do, it has to be a sound check. So let's just give a minute and hear the glorious V10 of the Lamborghini Gallardo. So we can hear the Lamborghini Gallardo doesn't sound half bad and that V10 really does have such a nice tone. So we can see the acceleration is just immense, we are travelling up to 177 km per hour before we need to make around the first corner around Kyoto Driving Park. Now with the help of the all wheel drive system it just helps the vehicle launch and really put its power down. Now what you will notice when driving this vehicle is since update 1.49 the weight is really felt with every vehicle we actually see when the car launches we can see the rear of it squats and the front lift up and then when we go under heavy braking we see the nose actually dive down and this is gonna play a very crucial part when it comes to tuning the vehicle a little bit later now when it comes to Lamborghini Gallardo it feels very planted you can feel okay this vehicle is very solid it's not all over the place it doesn't feel flimsy it's a very solid driving experience. What I did enjoy was there were actually a few moments where you could get the Lamborghini Gallardo to actually slide out quite a bit. And for me, I just thought that that was really fun. Now when it comes to lap times, I was setting lap times around the 1 minute 45 second mark bone stock, which look frankly is not the fastest thing out there. But for this Lamborghini, it's not too shabby at all. So, the Lamborghini Gallardo in its standard shape and form is not half bad of a vehicle. So, let me actually just give you a bit of history on the Lamborghini Gallardo. So, in 2003, the Lamborghini Gallardo hit the showroom floor. That's when it got announced and everyone fell in love with its new flagship vehicle. So, with the Lamborghini Gallardo, it was good and dandy, but in 2008, well, the Lamborghini Gallardo went through a bit of puberty because we see the engine got bigger, it lost some weight, and we also see that some of the facial features had changed. And that's what we ended up with here, a 5.2 liter V10. And the Lamborghini Gallardo was honestly just so qual- it was just such an amazing vehicle. See that the Lamborghini Gallardo was no longer the baby Gallardo as it was now offering top tier performance. But the Lamborghini Gallardo can be a bit better. And how you do that? Well, not even a bit better, a quite a lot better. And how you can do this is by now heading on over to the tuning shop and purchasing some upgrades for the Lamborghini Gallardo. So, with the Gallardo stock, it comes in at a performance point rating of 614 points. So that's not too shabby. A little bit of detuning and you can get it to the 600 performance points mark. And I think the vehicle will actually do decently well. Now, when it comes to upgrading this vehicle, well, you are going to spend quite a bit of money. And you can actually turbocharge the Lamborghini Gallardo and get the power figures up quite high. When I say quite high, we see once the vehicle is fully upgraded, we see it produces 1,075 brake horsepower. And with some weight reduction, we see the weight come down 
all the way to 1099 kgs just under 1100 kgs making this lamborghini gallardo almost a one-to-one -one power to weight ratio which is it's just insane so now that we have the lamborghini gallardo fully upgraded there's only one thing to do and that's to get the looks matching the vehicle's performance if we head on over to gt also we can just take a look at some of the aero parts we can apply to lamborghini gallardo so for a front splitter we see we have two options which are very aggressive for grand Turismo 7 because as we know with grand Turismo 7 well they like more subtle upgrades but there's nothing subtle about type b front splitter then we have two side skirts two options for a rear diffuser and two options for a rear wing now we see that we have no options for grill customization so with that being said let's just go on and take a look at the wide body kits available for the lamborghini Colorado. so it is going to cost you 50,000 credits to apply to this vehicle and we see they basically just stretched out the fenders so right nothing really amazing about that but now after you apply your wide body kit and head back on over to GT Auto, we do see that the parts for your rear diffuser actually does make a difference. So we see now we have a much larger, a much more aggressive rear diffuser and uh, it's really not what you would expect from Gran Turismo. This is, I won't say need for speed level of customization you know what it actually might be it's such an aggressive rear diffuser like i was not expecting this from gran Turismo. am i gonna put it on absolutely yes i'm not gonna miss out on the opportunity to add some wild customization to my wild bull of a lamborghini Colorado. so once i did that i found a really cool livery and all i did was change the wheels to some of the new wheels so it's one of the new wheels that were just added with this update and once we did that well we can head back on over to KL's driving park so once we have the vehicle now upgraded let's just take a listen to what it now sounds like One thing I can say about the Lamborghini Gallardo, when it comes to its sound now, it's so much beefier. It has such a deeper tone now that it's fully upgraded and it sounds exactly the same as the Audi R8. I, I know it's the same car just with different body kits. Some people are going to get upset by that statement, but it is. The Lamborghini Gallardo is still a fantastic vehicle and the sound is just oh, it's amazing now when i did set the vehicle up the first time it was not the best tune that i could have put into this vehicle because look the handling it was a bit jittery it didn't really turn the best and it wasn't just overall the best driving experience we saw that the vehicle was quite unstable when it came to cornering at high speeds or even just going over small bumps by using the apex so i knew i needed to go back to the drawing board and once i did well i noticed that i just needed to actually raise the height from the standard height that was given to us with the suspension originally so i raised the lamborghini quite a bit and I just softened the suspension and by doing that the vehicle was just a whole lot better and because of this we saw the vehicle now sitting lap times around the which is absolutely insanely fast so the Lamborghini Gallardo is an absolute track weapon I mean coming down Kyoto driving park straight away you're doing about 315 kilometers per hour before you need to slam on the brakes to make it around the first corner and the thing is with the Lamborghini Gallardo with it being all-wheel drive you can get a torque vector differential which means you can turn it from an all-wheel drive grip monster all the way into a full on drift car so it really allows you such a wide variety or diversity of your driving style with the lamborghini Gallardo. now something you do need to watch out for is understeer because at the end of the day it is an all-wheel drive vehicle 
but a brake controller will help out with that so just tweak it and take your time when it comes to tuning the Lamborghini Gallardo or in fact any car with this update because in because a lot of them are very twitchy but if you just soften up their suspension a little bit and raise the vehicle up it will just help out a little bit so it's not gonna make that much of a difference but it should just improve your overall driving experiences because it did exactly that for me with the Lamborghini Gallardo now the thing is I can't really see a suitable race or event for this vehicle besides the hypercar parade because look would it been a big okay not a big but with it having a v10 engine it's not the most economical thing out there and being fully upgraded we see it at a performance point rating of just under 850 performance points so it's a rather high rating and and you might f struggle to find events where this vehicle is actually going to be really competitive but overall it's still a fantastic vehicle to just experience and have some absolute fun in. The Lamborghini Gallardo is a great pickup and I would recommend you to try it out. So with that being said let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Lamborghini Gallardo in the comment section down below. And with all this being said thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.